guys, Anne here, and today we have a car vlog, and then we're going to do a little walk and talk. We have a lot going on today. It's pretty late in the afternoon. It's 3.19 p.m., so I got a late start today. But I have a few running around. What? I have a little... <laughs> Try that again. I have a few errands to do, so I figured why not take you with me. Also, it's beautiful out. Where, what, what degrees is it? Let me see. Because it's beautiful. It's probably in the 70s, I want to say. It's 76 out, and it's beautiful. I don't know if it's supposed to rain or not, but I'm like, you know what? This is a good day to walk. I want to start doing more walking and lose my stomach and, you know, like tone up. Before I begin, I do want to thank everybody for all of your positive comments. For my last video where I said my husband's girlfriend um, got in touch with me, you know, I tell you guys all the time on community posts and stuff, but I don't tell you as often as I should how much I appreciate you guys. And I don't mean like, you know, everything I say that you guys are like, oh, Ann, you're so right. That's not what I mean. Just not having judgment towards me. Just to be there if you agree with me or you don't agree with me. Just knowing that you're still here, you're supporting me because, you know, who wants to go through a divorce? No one. No one. Even though I know it's for the best, it, you know, it's still sad, at least for me, you know. And I know a lot of people don't come online and talk about their personal life. And I know a lot of people don't come to YouTube and they don't want to hear personal somebody's personal life, you know. They just, they have so much going on in their own life. They just want to hear positivity and, you know, watch fun vlogs and stuff like that. But I'm human, and I always said I, I, I'm either black or white. Like, there's no gray. You either like me or you don't. And I'm not going to portray like I have this perfect life, and I don't. So when I say you guys mean the world to me, and I appreciate you so much, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I really, really want to thank you for allowing me to be me and accepting me and not having judgment. I really, really mean that. All right, enough with the mushy stuff. I have to go inside here real quick. Then we have to go to the hair store because the hair store is right around the corner. And then I think I'll walk the park a little bit and talk. And then I need to go to Target and different things. But anyway, let me go in here real quick and I'll be right back. I'm back. Let's turn this puppy on. So we just have to go to the hair store. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn this down. Hold on a second. System ready. Um, and then we're going to go to the park. I haven't went to the park in a long time and just like walk on the bridge and all that stuff. And then I need to go to Walmart. Nope. I can get everything I need at Target. I don't know what it is with my boys. Now Isaiah is into this chocolate milk, not the double Dutch. Oh, I'm good. I forgot. This is a one way. Uh, not the double Dutch. It's a, um, it's called farm life or something like that. I tried it. I'm like, Ooh, it's like very thick. What is going on here? I tried it. I was like, ooh, it's like very thick chocolate milk. I say he's in this health thing. He literally does meal preps for like five days. He makes his own food. He makes white rice and then he'll bake his chicken and he'll have, um, I forget what sauce. It's this orange sauce. And like he that's the only ingredient he puts on his chicken. Then he'll cut up green peppers, red peppers, like uh, uh, onions, and like he'll season that, you know, he cooks that, puts that with the chicken. And then he has white rice, and then he puts the rest of that sauce with the, with the rice so it's not so plain, and like he has that, and it's very healthy. And um, then he just drinks water or whatever, protein shakes. Which way is better should I go? Let me go this way. And, uh, what was my point? Oh, it's the chocolate milk. So, whatever this is, is I have no idea. And I'm like, what is it with my boys with chocolate milk? Tyler's with the double dutch. He's with this farm life that's expensive. He's like, Mom, if you're going out, can you get me chocolate milk? Because, you know, he has to stay there with Nala. So, anyway, that's why I'm going to Target. I haven't been to Target in a minute. But I also need to get hand soap for the bathrooms. Because um, do you guys remember? I don't know if you watch my beauty channel. I did um, a couple months ago a big uh, um, Bath and Body Works haul. 
um, when they had their semi-annual sale and I got some and I'm just now um, ran out so the kitchen has the last one so now I have to get for the bathrooms and then that's it but it's so beautiful outside I want to just even if, if I'm just outside for 10 minutes I want to take the puppy to the dog park again um, because now that she can't play with Nala, since Nala has the stitches and stuff, she's got so much energy, and I try to play with her and have her running outside, but it's not the same, so, but it's getting too late, so I'll probably do that tomorrow, and I'll, let me know if you guys want me to film it, do you enjoy seeing the dogs and different things, let me know down below. This is a no turn on red, from 9 to 3, it's, it's past 3, but... When I get to the park, I do want to talk to you guys about something a little bit more serious to get your opinion. All right, let's go in the hair store and uh, see what they got. Ooh, look at this. I never had this before. One of these braided ones. There's one with the bangs and the ponytails. This is also ones that I get like this. They're fairly cheap, you see? 13 bucks. Okay, let me turn this air on a little bit. Oh gosh, I always forget. Okay, so I got two different ponytails. So they, this is a new one, a new brand to them. Um, it's called Natural Me. And then this is what it looks like, which I won't, I'll fix it to where it's not as curly. And so it's a little shorter. Now I use, I get a number two. So just in case if you don't know how they go by numbers. So a number one is jet black, very dark hair, okay? A two would be a cool tone black, right? A three is like a dark brown and a four is like a brown dark brown brown you know and then they go by like let's say color so you might get a two something slash 30 or 27 you know sometimes you might have a little red in it so I got this so this is what it looks like it's like a braided long ponytail I thought that would be cute sometimes and I just got it all in what which did I get 1b I usually get 1b but they didn't have any uh 1Bs, they just had a 2, which I hope it's dark enough. Um, and it's, this is a 30 inch, so it's long. Anyway, uh, they also had ones that I was thinking about getting that was dark, but it also had inside like a caramel, so it kind of looked like highlights. But then I thought, since I don't have any highlights in my hair that might look fake, I, even though this will look fake on me too, but, uh, I, I just want to try it. I haven't tried anything. Yeah, hopefully this too. See, this uh, it is dark enough. Because sometimes, because I dye my hair black and then I get the topic, sometimes, like, it doesn't match. Like, this is a 1B. So, it matches, like, perfectly, you know? Um, okay. I spent, it was $30. This was $13.99 and this was 
So it is fur, it's reasonable just if, if you just want to get one ponytail. Now they also have ones that are cheaper that's real hair that you can put like flat irons and all that. Now to get the Remy hair, the really good hair, you're going to be paying a little bit more. But, um, you know, if you don't want to try a full wig yet and just want to see how you look with just ponytails and these are drawstrings, you know, and they have the clip in them. Uh, you know, it's a, $13, $15 is not going to hurt your pocket just to see what you like. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now let's go to the, the uh, I was going to say the hair store, the, uh, not the lake. Let's go to the park because it looks like it's going to rain. Um, I know Florida, I'm praying for you guys in Florida. My stepson lives in Florida. Um, I know you guys have a hurricane coming. I keep saying it. I, I just have this thought that the East Coast is going to get hit very hard with storms and stuff this year. Um, so I'll be praying for you guys. So make sure you play, pay. For, I cannot talk. You pray for Florida. If you live in Florida, let me know down below what the weather is. Because today is Monday when I'm filming. But this won't go up until Tuesday. Because it takes forever to upload a video on this channel. People do stop and stare. Alright, we're here. Uh, you might have heard me singing. And I know I cannot sing. I love singing. I know I cannot sing. But when I'm singing at the time, I swear I sound like Whitney Houston in my mind. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, I sound like, like a wet cat, you know? Uh, just like I, I should show you guys when I start filming in the house and put like videos on and start dancing. I cannot dance. I don't have any rhythm, but I love dancing and my kids laugh. I swear, I don't have TikTok, but if I had a TikTok, I bet you I would blow up because people would laugh at me. Not with me, at me. You know, just for their pure enjoyment. And I'm the type, I don't care. I've always said this, like, let's say we're arguing or something like that. And, like, you have a good comeback at me. I will stop in the middle and say, oh, that was a good one. All right, you got that one. Always been like that. Uh, if we're cracking and it was a good one, I'll laugh. Um, if I'm dancing and, like, you're cracking on me, I laugh. I never get upset. It doesn't bother me. It's fun. And you got to have fun in life, you know. So I ought to start doing that for you guys. Let me know if you'd be interested. Um, I do. There's people here. I would still do it right in front of them. I don't care. <laughs> you know. All right. Let me get myself together and um, start walking, and I'll be back. You guys see? Look, the mommy's drinking water. Oh, all right. So we're here. We're at the famous uh, park. And um, do you know how, like, when I go to the lake, I always say, like, that's one lake. But this is the same lake. We're just in a different section. That lake covers just about my whole town. And that's what I get scared of, like a storm for flooding because we're, I'm so close to the water. Just like, um, and the beach is about 20 minutes away. So I'm not so far like that. If something happened, I'm not worried about flooding there will get some after effects, but I'm talking about flooding, like my whole house will be damaged. Um, but the lake, 100%, like it worries me because I'm just so close. There's so much water around where I live. When I first had my heart attack and I was, to, when I was going to cardiac rehab and doing my walk and talks, this is where I would come all the time. It's beautiful. Look at the greener, greenery. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'll show you some um, better things. This is when I wish I had like a walking buddy. Let me just show you, look. I mean, isn't that cool? What a beautiful picture. Let me turn you around and show you what I see. Let me unzoom. I think you zoomed in. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Those are honeysuckles, I believe, I think. Very pretty. Way over there, that's the bridge that when I drive, I go over and there's the lake there. And I would go this way to go to the Wawa. So I'm always going over here and I'm passing that bridge. And that's where the Wawa is.
I want to show you um, the statue that's over here. I would love to have this at, like as a yard. Look how green. Look at the green grass. That's because it rains so much in South Jersey. Beautiful. All right, so here is a statue. Oh, why is the, the paint's coming off of the statue? Look. All right, so let's read. Captain Joseph Buck from 1753 to 1803, founder of Millville. That's the town I live in. I've already doxxed myself many, many times. And I'll read it to you. Captain Joseph Buck, a veteran Revolutionary War officer and commander of the Cumberland County Militia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, stood on these riverbanks in the early 1790s and reviewed his troops. As time went on, he foresee he foresaw a new city of manor houses, lumber mills and industry in the wilderness. In 1796, Captain Buck and partners Eli Elmer and Robert Smith purchased 24,000 acres along the Maurice River. That's not where we're at. Uh, where Captain Buck found at Millville and designed its streets. Though he died before his dreams for the city became a reality, Captain Buck's rugged spirit and his reaching vision gave Millville a resilient foundation that endures today. All right, so now let's go the other direction. We'll go all the way over on the graffiti wall. Millville, like Cumberland County is a, is a historic plate, historical. Um, the next town over is called Bridgeton. And that's very historical too. You can look that up. Then we have Vineland. That's very historical. Um, and just beautiful. And like all of this is free. And you guys see, there's hardly anybody here. Now, in the summertime, when it's nice out, you'll see kids like on the park. But, you know, that's why it's nice to come here. You can even bring like your dog and stuff. Um, I see a lot of people like walk their dog. This will be great for like to walk Aura. I worry about Nala. I don't think she'd go after anybody, but with kids, because anytime kids see a dog, they always run up to, and it's like, I don't understand what's wrong with the parents. You never hear the parents say, no, don't go to a dog. They wait till the owner of the dog says no. And when Nala sees anybody running to her, she gets like that. And because I have a carpal tunnel, sometimes I'm, I'm scared of, I can't get to her. I don't think she'd go and go after their throat and all that kind of stuff, but she might nip them. And because she's a pit bull, I'd have to put her down. And, uh, but I don't know unless I try. Like days like this, I know that there's nobody here, especially when school starts. So our, our school starts in September. So in another two weeks, you know, like on a weekday, I can take Nala because there's hardly anybody here. Maybe that's what I'll start doing. Oh, there's people over here at the graffiti wall. What are they doing at my graffiti wall? Okay. They got their car parked here. They're, I, guess, I think they're vlogging, but I don't care. I'm going to show you what I say. Oh, so there is a little bit different. So let me turn you around. So I want to get her car. But so it's a little bit different. So it looks built up more, more colorful. But isn't it just gorgeous? Let's get closer. That's uh, Bob Marley, I think. It's just gorgeous. Oh, Super Mario Brothers. Look at that. This is definitely um, a sign. The devil, the one eye, Illuminati. Very pretty. away because I think they're waiting for me to leave because I think they're doing TikToks. Look at it. 
All right, so now we're gonna walk straight. I'm picking up a little sweat because I was telling some of my friends, right? Like my one friend, right? Like the heat and everything was like 123. And I'm always like, oh my God, it's so hot. It's like 90. But our humidity is always hot, like, or is very high because by the water. So our humidity is like always 85, 86 in the 90s. So even though it's only like 78, the humidity is like 92. So it feels like it's in the 90s. It feels like a sauna, you know? So it's like uh, I'm sweating, you know? I have another friend that showed me a picture of her blinds and they're like, they were like melted. <sighs> I'll tell you a funny story. So, you know, in Jersey, it gets hot, but we don't really have heat what heat waves in the triple digits. Only uh, maybe once or twice the whole summer, right? But it's usually, you know, it's in the 90s, but not like over 100. I mean, it's rare. We have it, but it's not too often. All right, so let me tell you what happened. So we just have window air conditions. I told you, once I get the heat fixed where they have to redo the ducts and stuff, I'm going to get central air because the guy who gave me the price said... So, so already going on the walls with the ducks, an extra $4,000, they could do central air. So that's what I plan on doing. But in the meanwhile, we just have window air conditions. So we, everybody has it in their bedroom. So there's four, there's three bedrooms and then the attic, you know, so there's four. And then we have two big ones downstairs. So we always have six air conditions. But we don't have any, like when you go downstairs on the second floor, they're in the bedrooms, but not in the hallway or in the bathroom. So we just have a fan, because we have a window in our bathroom, and we have a fan that you can push the button and, the, and the, it's like an exhaust where, you know, the fan, the air goes out, so you can get that hot air out, or you can put it on you. All right, so when it's like in the hundreds, so it's friggin' hot. So let me tell you what happened. I'm getting ready to get in the shower. And I see, so we always have this basket, okay, over our shower head. And it has, it's like a couple shelves, and that's where I get all my, put all my sample stuff from, like subscription boxes and stuff. And, uh, oh, I'm getting out of breath. And uh, so I see this blue foam, and I'm like, what the hell is this blue foam? It's all on the, um, the, the basket thingy. It's on, going on the wall. I'm like, what the hell is this thick blue foam? Where is it coming from? I'm thinking, is it cleanser? Is it like body wash? What is it? So I'm taking everything out of the, the basket. You know, it's the two shell thingies. And I found this can and it's shaving cream. It was so hot in the bathroom that the shaving cream can, can exploded. Blue foam everywhere. I have never had that happen. I mean, I know it can happen. They say that's why I don't leave it in the car when it's hot and all, you know, like can't. It literally exploded and it looked like a Smurf shower. <laughs> and you know, thank God. Do you remember the one mystery box? If you watch my beauty channel, I got where I got the new uh, shower head, which is the little thing that you could take down and spray your body. That was the best thing I ever got because I sit down over here. Oh, look at this. So at nighttime, they don't have a light bulb in it. Oh, and there's a little, I'm gonna show you. There's a little bird's nest with eggs. But that's nice, they have like a, at night, so you're not in the dark. Well, maybe that is a light bulb, but look. Look at that. Can you see the bird's nest? That's pretty cool. But that was like one of the best things that I got. So like, I just took that of course and sprayed like the shower cause we have the tiles and stuff. But I was like, dang. And I remember I was telling my friend Lisa, I was like, can you believe, I, I know I only sit for a minute, it's my anxiety. I'm like, can you believe the damn, uh, shaving, that's how hot it is downstairs. Like it's nice in the bedrooms. And as soon as you open the door, it's like a heat wave in the, in the house. So that's that. <laughs> I just look at it like, you know, in the summer when it's in the, in the triple digits, I have like a built-in sauna in my bathroom. People pay for that. I don't have to pay for it. There are a few things that I want to talk to you guys about. I just started jibber-jabbering and I forgot that I want to talk to you guys about some stuff. I'm not making a dedicated video or anything like this, but I really want to ask you guys a question. Yeah, I can feel it starting to rain a little bit, so I won't be long. Okay. 
what do you guys think? I've asked this before. So you guys know, most of you guys know like Jessica Kent. And she built, she has over a million subscribers. And uh, she built her channel because she um, had went to prison. And so she built her channel to having like prison talks and, you know, just different experiences that she has had and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of people find it intriguing because one, they've never been to a prison or like a woman's prison or just to even people that can relate. She was a former addict, which most people can relate as well. And um, so that's how she grew her channel. How you doing? Then um, she started talking about her personal life and different things. She has TikTok, I don't have TikTok, but she talks about it over there and stuff. And people start digging into her. And she did, she challenged everybody um, you know, like, well, dig up my records or something like that. And so people did, especially this one specific uh, YouTuber. Well, people were challenging also Jessica Kent to get her own records to prove because people were saying, okay, she went to jail, but she never actually went to prison. Jessica was claiming she did five years but she really did like five months or six months altogether, like less than a year, maybe a year, something, not close to five. They were also trying to prove, okay, Jessica says she had her first daughter in jail, which she did, but she also claims she didn't know she was pregnant on the time of her arrest. And then others are trying to claim that she did know. I made a video in the beginning of summer, I was at my backyard and I just, I made a video saying, I don't believe people should go real life. I don't believe people should go that far to look in people's police records. Because to be honest with you, years ago, when story times were very popular, a lot of people embellished, a lot of people exaggerated or told other story times that didn't even happen to them, happened to somebody else, or just made it up in general. So like you have to take it with a grain of uh, salt. Um, well, anyway, so this one uh, YouTuber, Tracy Noel, I think her name is, she started getting these um, police records. And if I sound like I'm all over the place, my anxiety is really bad, and then just me walking, and I don't have anything scripted, so like, uh, and it's my ADD, like, you know. But anywho, uh, so... You know, it, it, it was fine. Like she, she called Jessica out on a lot of her lies or embellishments. She did. She proved that Jessica didn't do all this time that she was saying. You know, whatever. I'll give you my thoughts after I tell you this. And then Jessica, who has over a million subscribers, would say stuff. And Tracy was getting all this hate. And at the time, Tracy had like under a thousand subscribers. I think she has like three thousand. But even then. 3,000 does not compare to having a million. And then how many millions she has on TikTok and all that, you know? And so she, Tracy started having a lot of hate, which then Tracy was then trying to prove Jessica was a liar. She just kept going and going. And in my opinion, Tracy went, was going too far. To where she makes a video. She didn't pre-read some of the uh, police reports that she got from New York. Uh, cause that's where I believe Jessica Kent is from originally. And she starts talking about different situations which I'm not going to get into when Jessica was a minor. This is why you should always, I don't think Tracy planned this. I just don't think she read her the stuff. And then she read it. She says she's not going to, and then she read it anyway. Well, she started getting a lot of heat for it and she took that live stream down and she apologized. Not to Jessica, which I think is wrong. I think she should apologize to Jessica for that part. But, you know, I'm glad she took the live stream down. And my opinion is, when is enough enough? When she's getting these police reports, which I guess you can get them. I guess they're public in different states and different things. Do they know that she's getting it to read online, to share everybody her personal stuff? I guarantee she, she isn't. Because I believe, in my opinion, I don't know, but I believe I'm gonna turn around because I have my knife on me, but 
but I don't like going too far back when I'm by myself and there's nobody around. I personally believe that if you tell these people, oh, I want so-and-so's record so I can read it on YouTube, I don't think that they're going to give it to you. My opinion, but I could be wrong. But even if it is true morally, it's like you proved your point. How much, like her whole video, if you go to her channel, her whole channel is Jessica Kent. Then she says, oh, I'm not going to even say her name anymore. I don't need her name for views. And then she still does. Then she'll say, oh, I'm not going to make any more content about her, any more videos about her. Then she finds other things out and she does. <laughs> like if she has 50 videos, I don't know how many. I'm just making a number out there. 48 of them is Jessica Kent. And it's like, when is enough enough? Okay, you proved she didn't do as much time as she said. We don't know if she knew if she was pregnant when she got arrested or not. She told the police officer she was pregnant. My belief is, I truly feel, and I, maybe I'm very naive, when you get caught, she's out at four in the morning, I think that could have been an excuse, like, oh, I was craving, I'm pregnant, I'm out getting things. Maybe coincidentally she was pregnant. Because I think the reason why, and if she did know, the reason why she's not admitting to it, because she was getting high while she was first pregnant, you know? And I say this because when I was doing my life of crime, and I remember getting caught shoplifting and or getting in trouble. Oh, God, I can't believe it. I'm going to tell the truth. I used to tell the cops, like, oh, I just had a miscarriage. Or lie because my stomach has always been big because i diabetic. I'm insulin resistant. Oh, I'm pregnant. And I'm not. So that way they don't put my hand, they put my hands on the front. Or I would feel they would be gentler with me. I would lie. So that's why I'm saying, but I don't know who knows. But we absolutely know she did have a child while she was locked up. Regardless, she knew or not, she had a child while she was locked up. And that is traumatic, regardless how you look at it. You know, because they don't treat you the same as you give them birth regular, you know, in the hospital. Okay? So that was traumatic, regardless. But it's like, how much? I know, okay, Jessica's a liar, Jessica's this. Okay, then don't watch her. But like, to me, in my opinion, when does it become bullying? When does it come harassment? Now, I'm not talking about people that are reacting to her video. She makes a video. Or reacting, let's say, I make a video and somebody reacts to how I feel. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about people that every day or every live stream that's two and three hours is Jessica Kent, Jessica Kent, Jessica Kent, Jessica Kent, Jessica Kent. That's what I'm talking about. When you build your whole channel, I, that, that's what I'm talking about. When is enough enough? And I still feel, I don't care if she says, go get the police, or, you know, uh, uh, get the records. Morally, I know legally you can I, I understand that, but morally, like, why? To me, everybody says, don't go real life. But that's real life. In my opinion, that's going real life. And I I get it, and a lot of people say this, and, and I understand, because people that had have addiction issues or, or had an addiction issue looked up to her. And it's like a slap in the face when they get lied to. I understand that part. 100% or that did go to jail in prison like you know like I get it you know and she's like a role model like wow she went from there and now look at her she's doing so well like I get that 100% but look what Jessica's doing she's in denial she's still saying she's drinking and she says well I just drink occasionally but I, I don't have a problem with it that's, she's in denial. She's still hanging around like this Jason guy and her boyfriend, like and all this other like people that she probably shouldn't hang around. It's like she still wants to have her foot, her hand in this type of lifestyle. She's not all the way out of it. And I think that's why she's in denial. She thinks, oh, well, I'm not doing this. But it's like, when you're ready, here's the thing. When I wanted to get off drugs and stop drinking, I had to stop going around pe people, places, and things. I had to. How can I hang with somebody that's still getting high, still putting the crack pipe in their mouth, may not do it around me, but might go home getting high, and I'm still hanging with them, and I know they're getting high. Like, that, th that doesn't make sense. 
So I just believe she's in denial. I think she thinks she's not doing anything wrong. I think she thinks, well, it's not me and I'm not drinking all the time or I'm not getting high so I can drink. I just don't think she has her stuff all together like she perceives or thinks that she has it together. You know what I mean? And that's why she's still in denial. That's why she's not admitting to things she exaggerated in. She's still in that mind. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad. It's uh, I'm going to head to the car and ask up the air. And you know, I guess what I'm asking is, and I've asked this before and a lot of you guys told me that if she puts her business out there, people have the right to go dig. I've, a lot of you guys have told me that. And I, and I get that. And, and, and legally, that is true. But morally, do you think that we should? Or if you do, when my question is, when is enough enough? Should somebody build their whole channel on somebody's life and trauma? I know she has. But that's her business. I don't know. And that's where I'm at. Like, I think when you build your channel and all of this stuff, and then you go so far that it was all right for you to talk about something that happened to her when she was a minor. Because, like, I talk about things that happened with my son and my soon-to-be ex-husband. But I would be mortified if somebody looked up the police report. Because I feel like I can talk about it. It happened to me. It's my life. But I understand if I talk about it, then people know about it. If I didn't talk about it, people wouldn't know. So if I don't want people to look, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I get that. I believe, and I don't know this for a fact, I don't know her, she don't even know I exist. I believe she had a hard life, upbringing. Uh, let me get in the car and I'll talk more about it. All right, I'll just talk about this and then I'll get off of it because then we have to start going to the store because it's 440, oh my God. I know, like with my upbringing, you know, my mom was on drugs and different things, and I didn't have a father growing up. I didn't have that loving, like I should have, like role model in my life, like should have been. And so that made me go to hanging with the wrong crowd. Uh, my father died when I was six of a heroin overdose, and my mom, and you know, my mom now died when she was on hospice. And when I originally, like I, I drunk, you know, because I was so depressed and different things and then I tried crack cocaine for the first time because I thought well my mom and dad did it what is it about that that they enjoyed you know and then that's all she wrote you know but it's like I just think she had a hard life um which chose her to hang around people she shouldn't be hanging around and once you do it's hard when you do truly enjoy that lifestyle or those people or the bad guys or what have you it's hard to break away from it is and I just think that's what she has going on right now all right let me get to Target and um, look for the stupid milk and then um, I have to go to Wawa and then that's it this video, this vlog is long. I know. All right, I'll be back, guys. Like I said, it's starting to drizzle, so let's get in here and get a few things. I gotta remember, remind me to get hand soap. All right, let's, let's do some shopping. All right, I got the hand soap. And I don't know what that was about. Uh, they, you know what, it's so different because I haven't been in Target in so long and Target and Walmart are just so different. Not as far as prices, because I think sometimes things in Target is cheaper. But just as far as like decorations and stuff is so much nicer that does Target have a clearance aisle? I, I can't help it, I'll never change. Um, but they have a lot of Halloween stuff out and it's like it's still back to school. Well, for some. It's just weird how it's like they push everything. Next month, they'll start having Christmas stuff. And it's like, what in the world? I, I, I don't know. All right. Um, I so much want to go there and see if they have any treats for the dogs, but I'm not. All right, let's look for this Fair Life something chocolate milk. Oh, there's milk over there. I haven't been here in so long, and they have quite a, like, when did Target start having fruit and different things? Oh, and they have, like, hamburger meat? 
Wow. All right. Let's see. I see it. It's right here. Let me turn you around. Right here. So this is what he likes. It's 419. Select. That's what he likes. Uh, you can read it. It's 419. I don't know how many ones. I'm only getting one if it's four dollars. Let me get regular milk. Let's see how much the milk is here. I do got to go to Wawa just to see if they have double dutch. Three sixty nine. That's not bad. All right, let me get two of them. All right, let me see what else they got, and I'll be back. <gasps> Look what I found. Limited to pumpkin spice. I love Frosted Flakes, but I don't know if that's going to be good or not, but I'm going to try it. Have you ever heard of that? Wow. All right, I'm going to hurry up because it's raining out, but I found this stuff. You know, I told you Isaiah likes the meal prep. I figured he could put the white rice and then here. And then look, I found apple pie, toast crunch, and then the other cereal, that, the one I showed you, the this one pumpkin spice and then I got my tea what is it called tree hut watermelon sugar scrub okay and then the, all that stuff all right I did remember the hand soap all right let me hurry up because it's raining all right you know what this lipstick is doing a pretty damn good because I was out today I did a walk and talk where I was sweating I was in shopping I went shopping I was in Target for about 30 35 minutes I was looking at their clearance stuff. Did not buy anything. Um, what else? And you know what? Maybe I'm used to Walmart or something like that. But I was looking at towels. I'm like, oh, I need some new towels. They were like $18 a piece. And I know, you know, that's what people... Like, when I go to JCPenney's and when I do their towel sale, I know JCPenney's is the long, like, good towels. I don't mind paying but like Target felt and looked like the same as Walmart and Walmarts are $3.96. And that's when I'm like, I'm not paying $18 and I can get the same quality at Walmart. Maybe a little bit better, but you know, I was shocked. Um, all right, so the only thing I have to do now is go to Walmart, or, I mean, go to Wawa. I already got uh, the milk, but I wanna see if they have their double touch. The things I do for my kids, I swear. I, I hope they appreciate how much I do because I'm always thinking about my kids. I will do for my kids before I even think about myself. I've always been like that. I don't know. I guess I feel like, you know, Alexi's 23. I mean, she's in school and she works. And once she's done and she's able to settle down, you know, she's a girl. So, you know, she'll probably be out of the house first. And then... Tyler, I mean, he's 27, he'll be 28 this year. Once he finds, like, a steady girl, I mean, he'll be out of the house. I don't have that much longer with him. And Isaiah, he's 19, but Isaiah, he's just, like, a go-getter. Like, he's in college, he works. I mean, I have, hopefully, a few more years with him. But my point is, another five years and all of my kids will be out of the house. So, I don't have that much time. So, I want to spend it and do as much as I can. And not only that... We don't know how much time we have. I can go to bed and not wake up in the morning. So I try to, you know, just do as much as I can for my kids. I don't know. Some people think I coddle my kids too much, but they seem to be pre doing pretty good. So whatever I'm doing is working. I don't know. All right. I will see you once I get to Wawa because I know this vlog is getting long enough. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, let's go in here, see if there's any double dutch, and then I will say my goodbyes. I'll be back. All right, so they had double dutches, and look. I got eight of them because I always have to have an even number. There were nine, so I left one. But, okay. All right, so everybody should be happy. I got Lexi a salad. She wanted a salad. So I got everybody something that they wanted. 
Um, Alexa gets home at 11. Tyler should be home now. It's 5.30, so he should be home. You can help carry the stuff in. Isaiah's home. He's with Nala, so. We'll probably be like, I want to go upstairs now. You can have Nala. And I'll have the puppy. All right, guys, that's everything. This is a long-ass vlog, but, you know, I'm talkative. I can't help it. I like to talk. Please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. That helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really helps out with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. It would mean the world to me if you could do that for me. Don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you can be notified for all of my future videos. And as always, I always link my beauty channel in the description box. Check it out. See if that is something that you're interested in. And if you made it this far, leave any animal emoji, a dog, a cat, an elephant, a lion, I don't know, whatever that you want. And don't forget to let me know what you think of like the Jessica Kent. When is too far? I don't know. Or do you think people should be able to talk about it as much as they want if you bring it on to YouTube? Let me know. And that's everything, guys. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you no matter what. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.